guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Jen and this is Jen's Happy Home. And today I want to share with you some of my favorite children's picture books for the holidays. I know back in September, October-ish, I shared with you guys my favorite Halloween books and I'm excited to share with you today some of my favorite children's books for the holidays. These are great books just to check out from your local library to share with your children or they also would make for really nice Christmas gifts. I usually get my children a book every year for Christmas. I think it's a great thing to have and I really, really do love having all of the holiday books. I just brought the entire big enormous bin up from our basement and I had to go through and just pick out my favorites. I tried to keep it at 10 um, but I had a really hard time so it's less than 20 but more than 10. So let's go ahead and get started and I want to show you some of my favorite holiday books over the years. Of course I have to start with The Night Before Christmas. This is a story that my father has read to me every Christmas since I was born and now he carries on the tradition by coming to my house every Christmas Eve and after church he reads The Night Before Christmas to my children. And I have two books here. This is the um, original book that I grew up with and of course The Night Before Christmas is by Clement Seymour but this one is illustrated by Cheryl Harness and the illustrations in this book are absolutely beautiful. Let me just show you a couple of the pages. So look at this living room. Don't you just want to walk right into that room? It just looks so inviting and cozy. I just really, really love it. It's like an old Victorian home, um, which I really love because I live in an old Victorian home. And just look at the picture of the snow with the moon. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous book. I really love this one. So this is the one that I actually grew up with and then we purchased a new one for my children. And this one actually has the very large print in it which makes it easier for an older person to read. And the illustrations in this are beautiful as well. This one is illustrated by Christian Birmingham. And it does have some really, really nice pages. Let me. And everything just kind of has this really blue, snowy scenery in the background. Here's the stockings hung by the chimney. And this is a rather large book um, and you can see how large the writing is on it as well. But um, of course The Night Before Christmas is a must-have during the holiday season. And then another book that I really like for the children is You Can Do It Sam. And this is by Amy Hest illustrated by Anita Jurem. And it's just a really nice story about a bear and his mom and they live on, I believe it's called Plum Street. It happened one winter morning on Plum Street and the moon was still up making moonbeams and shadows on Plum Street. And there is Plum Street. And again, I just, I think the reason that I really enjoy children's picture books is because the illustrations are always so beautiful and they're is the bear with his mom and they're making cakes to share with neighbors and um, it's kind of a story about teaching your children independence and her kind of pushing him to do some things on his own and it's just really really a wonderful Christmas story. Another book that I really love is The Littlest Christmas Tree, A Tale of Growing and Becoming by Janie Jason. And you can see the little Christmas tree and I just want to read you one of the pages from this book just so you can get a feel for um, how just lovely and endearing this story is. Christmas trees must be a lot like people, though with the littlest tree. People are good and strong. I'm sorry, people who are good and strong look up to the heavens for strength and encouragement. I will look up and stand patiently until I am tall enough to be chosen for Christmas. And the little tree is trying to grow big enough to be a Christmas tree and it's just a very, very nice little story about a little tree. This is a book that I purchased for my daughter last Christmas. As I said, I do purchase them a Christmas type story every single year. And this is Cookie Count, a tasty pop-up by Robert Sabuda. And this is a pop-up book. And I think pop-up books are so much fun. I still enjoy them even as an adult. Just look at these pages. They're really, really neat. I'm going to show you the last page is really super cool. See that? It's like a whole gingerbread house. 
I really love this book. This book is so much fun and uh, my daughter was really excited to receive it as a Christmas gift last year. So I think this is a nice gift for a young child. And then of course, I have to have some Disney stories. This is Disney's Christmas Storybook and it has 18 stories that are all Disney related. So it has like Pinocchio and um, Mickey Mouse, actually Mickey's Christmas Carol, which I absolutely love. That's one of my favorite um, Disney, you know, Christmas theme stories. I love the movie. And you have all of the Disney characters in here and you can like pick a story every night if you read your children bedtime stories. You can just pick one, which is what we did for quite some time and we would read one every night and then it just has um, some really pretty illustrations in here as well. And this book is by Elizabeth Spur. So again, another Christmas storybook. My daughter wanted me to be sure to share this with you guys. The Elf on the Shelf, A Christmas Tradition. She really enjoys this book around the holidays. Um, this is by Carol V. Abersold and Shonda A. Bell, illustrated by Co. Steinwart. And The Elf on the Shelf, if you're not familiar with it, is an elf that comes to visit you every single year and watches over you and reports back to Santa on your behavior and you know what you're doing back at home. He keeps an eye on you. Let Santa know if you're naughty or nice. You can see right here there's the naughty and nice list. And um, in the back of the book you can fill in when the tradition began and what you named your elf and it just has a little personalized area in the back where you can um, you know, include your elf's name and the date that you actually received your elf with the book. And if you can see over here, I have behind me, this is the box that the elf comes in and um, the book is included inside of the box with the elf. So that's definitely a fun thing to do with your children, a nice tradition to begin. And then the other book that I really enjoy, and many of you love and enjoy this story, I know it, it's How the Grinch Stole Christmas by Dr. Seuss. And this is just a fun book to read. Um, I just love the sing-song rhyming of the Dr. Seuss books. Um, they're all really, really good. Every Who down in Whoville liked Christmas a lot, but the Grinch who lived just north of Whoville did not. And the illustrations in this book are not very colorful. They're all basically um, red, white, and black. But I do really enjoy reading the story around the holidays. Of course, you have to include the true meaning of Christmas in some of your Christmas-related storybooks. And this is a really, really great one. This is God Gave Us Christmas by Lisa Ton Bergren, and the art is by David Hahn. And it's just a really, really sweet story about her, her mom and her baby bear. There's a lot of moms and bears go, going on, I just realized. Um, but she takes him on a little adventure and kind of shows him how God is in all things and how he speaks to us um, partly through nature and through things going on around us in the world. And she brings him to, I just wanted to find the page, to see the northern lights. And she says to him, that is God at work, little cub. He sent his only son as a baby so that we would know light from dark. Jesus is the light of the world. Jesus is how God gave us Christmas. So this is a really great story to share with your little ones. And if you guys know me and my channel, you know I am a huge Disney fan and I love Tim Burton. And I really, really love The Nightmare Before Christmas. It's one of my favorite movies. So I have to include a little Jack Skellington in my uh, favorite books for children around Christmas time. So I really do like this story a lot. And you can see here are the trees. And there's the tree for Christmas. And, you know, they have all the various holidays. If you're familiar with the story, you know that Jack Skellington goes um, to Christmas Town and discovers Christmas and Santa and all the wonders of uh, this holiday that we call Christmas and he's very excited to learn more about it and to be a part of it so this is really a great book. Another favorite of myself and many others is The Polar Express. The Polar Express is just such a great story. Um, 
This is by Chris Van Alsberg and also illustrated by him. And the illustrations are really, really lovely in this book. This is one of my favorite pages. And it's the train with the snow. And it's also us uh, that is the cover of the book. And the Polar Express is a great story, maybe for children who are a little bit older and they're starting um, to lose faith and belief. So it's a great book about children who are starting to kind of outgrow the whole Santa stage and they don't believe anymore. And um, this train picks up all those children and brings them to the North Pole to um, meet Santa and to see how things work. And it's just a really enduring story and I love to watch it every year. Okay, I don't know. My daughter loves this book. She's seven years old and I think it's kind of silly, but she really does like it a lot. So I thought I would include it. This is by J. Otto Seibold. And so this reindeer is listening to the radio and here's the song, Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. And the part where it says, all of the other reindeer, well, she thinks that they're saying all of the other reindeer and she realizes I must be like the missing reindeer so I have to go and meet Santa and all the other reindeer and let them know like here, you know, here I am, I'm all of the other reindeer. It's just a really silly story but since my seven year old really <laughs> loves it I thought I would share it with you guys in case you're looking to purchase a book or to um, get a book from your library that your child might enjoy. The Very Snowy Christmas is another great one. This is by Diana Hendry, illustrated by Jane Chapman. And it's a nice story about mice that are decorating the house for Christmas and the little mouse has to go on a little bit of a, an adventure to find some of the things that they need for decorating the home. And in doing so, he finds lots of things that are big and scary out in the world and um, he has to be brave and face them and you know when he goes back home he realizes that everything that he was so fearful of was really nothing at all and it's just a really great christmas story as well another fun book that would make for like a nice gift is the nutcracker i especially like this book um, because it has i don't know if you're gonna be able to see it in the camera but there's like these areas here where it looks as if the picture is moving so I'm gonna do my best to see if you can actually get an idea of how this works. But it's a really fun book and it's lift the flap. And again, if you just kind of move it from side to side, you can see um, the pictures inside as well. When we actually went to see the Nutcracker last year, I um, bought the book there. And this is by Patrick Regan and illustrated by Natasha Kurichov. Okay, I have three stories left to share with you guys. And one is Olivia Helps with Christmas. The Olivia books are by Ian Falconer. And Olivia is just so fun. She has a little brother and uh, <laughs> it's just really, it's a silly book and we do like it a lot. And they're getting ready Christmas Eve, decorating the tree, having Christmas Eve dinner. And um, then there's these pages that like, open up really wide so like both sides flap open to give you an entire huge scene and it's just a really fun story. Olivia is a great character and we always enjoy reading this book every Christmas. Another great one is Bear Stays Up for Christmas. This is Karma Wilson and Jane Chapman. And I also do like the way that this story reads with the sing-song rhymes. The day before Christmas, snuggled on his floor, Bear sleeps soundly with a great big snore. Dear Bear, get up, Mouse shouts in his ear. We won't let you sleep through Christmas this year. And all of uh, Bear's friends want to make sure that he stays awake for Christmas because he typically, I suppose, sleeps through it and they keep him awake so that he can open up his presents and be a part of the festivities. And it's just really a great story. This is a story, it's not necessarily specific to Christmas. It could be for the entire holiday winter season or really any time of year, but I cannot not mention The Gingerbread Baby by Jan Brett. Jan Brett is an amazing writer and illustrator. Her stories are so beautifully done 
and this is definitely a favorite of all my children growing up. And what I like about her books, it's kind of unique in the way on the pages, she has the, the storyline, the main part of the story here, but then on the side, she kind of gives you a little glimpse of what's going to be happening um, on the next pages. So I just think it's really fun how she does that. And the end of the book has this really pretty gingerbread house and it's a lift the flap. I can open it for you. And then you can see, oh, spoiler alert, <laughs> this is the end of the book. And the gingerbread baby makes it safely home in his own little gingerbread house. And it's just so sweet. So those are all of my favorite children's holiday related stories. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it was helpful to you in maybe exploring some new storybooks to read to your children this holiday season. I hope that you guys are having a great week and if you haven't done so already, please go ahead and subscribe down below. Uh, I would love it if you would follow me on Instagram at Jen's Happy Home. I do share quite often there as well. And please do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I hope that you guys all are having a great holiday season and please let me know in the description below what some of your favorite children's stories are because I'm always looking for new ones to add to our library. Take care. Bye.